Welcome to Chet TV News. Here are your headlines. Bad weather in the Peace results in several accidents overnight. The Peace FM Christmas Vault continues to get great prizes and bad news again for curlers in Dawson Creek. Welcome to Chet TV News. I'm Callie Warren. After a brief rain Tuesday night, the roads turned to black ice. Reports came in from around the piece around several accidents because of the road conditions and there were two separate incidents on the Alaska Highway since last night. Neither resulted in serious injuries. An Alberta woman is dead after a collision on Highway 97, 25 kilometers south of McLeod Lake on Tuesday. The commercial vehicle had pulled over to the side of the road to chain up the tires. The woman was on the driver's side when the transport truck was passing and the truck slid sideways and struck the woman. She was pronounced deceased on the scene. A man is dead after a motor vehicle accident on Monday. The two vehicles collided at the Aris Bridge between Shetwin and Dawson Creek and the area was closed until Tuesday morning. The Dawson Creek Fire Department helped extract one of the four victims that was involved and the RCMP and Fire Department have not released the cause of the accident. The RCMP want to remind everyone to be careful this season and always drive to road conditions. Hello, I'm Constable Damien Moe with the Chetwin RCMP. With snow well on its way, it's important you prepare for winter driving. Do you really need snow tires? The answer is yes, and here's why. Rubber tends to harden in cold weather, thus reducing friction and stopping capability of the vehicle. The new generation winter tires maintain their elasticity and gripping power at lower temperatures, whereas all season tires tend to stiffen and lose gripping power around zero Celsius. The improved gripping power at lower temperatures translates to shorter stopping distances and better vehicle cornering and control. That could be the difference between a safe stop and a fender bender or worse. And remember, it is the law to have winter tires on your vehicle when traveling in this region. So to keep yourself safe this winter, install four identical snow tires. Pack an emergency kit. Plan your trip and tell your friends and family. Check road and weather conditions. Remove all snow and ice from your vehicle before each trip. Give yourself extra travel time in bad weather. Avoid using overdrive and cruise control on slippery roads. Travel with a fully charged cell phone for emergency situations. And slow down and wear your seatbelt. The RCMP are seeking the public's help in finding 33-year-old Richard Harris. He is wanted for breaching his probation order. Harris is described as First Nations 5'11 and weighs around 170 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. Police consider him to be violent, armed and dangerous, so if you see him, do not approach, but call the police immediately. Oil prices have plummeted once again and BC companies hope that it will benefit their bottom line. British Columbia companies like Chevron Canada will benefit from the plunge because they specialize in refining and retail. But the Alberta sectors that explore and produce the oil will most likely take a hit. Some clear winners from the fall of oil will be the lumber and sawmill companies, which we don't have a shortage of here in the Peace. Peace FM and Chet TV Christmas Vault prizes are growing every day. Thank you to businesses in Chetwin and Dawson Creek for donating amazing gifts to the event. Remember to keep listening to Peace FM for your chance to win a key and a chance at thousands of dollars in prizes. The Fort St. John figure skating team is hosting their Christmas gala on December 11th. Doors open at 5 p.m. and the performance will start at 6 p.m. Admission to the event is on a donation basis. The Dawson Creek Junior Canucks host Fairview tonight and coming up this weekend they switch it up and head to Fairview on Friday and then Saturday they are in Peace River playing the first place North Peace Navigators. Peace FM's Matt Nicholson will be calling the games. You can listen live at 94.5 in Chetwin or 104.1 in Dawson Creek. Or, or if you aren't in range, remember you can always stream it live on peacefm.ca. The Dawson Creek Curling Club announced they are closed again because of recent tests that show ammonia in the brine. 
Once it is neutralized, they hope to have the banquet hall opened up for scheduled events, but the curling rink, curling rink will remain closed for the remainder of the season. Thank you for watching Chet TV News. You can always tweet me at Warren underscore Cali or email me at Cali at peacefm.ca. Your weather is coming up next. Thank <laughs> you.